Hey everybody, I'm Gabby and this is RVs with Gabby. If you are into camping and traveling, if you love RV life too, RVs with Gabby is the right channel for you. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching my content. If you love my videos, please don't forget to hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that notification bell so you never miss another walk around video. All right, this is the first week in my new role as sales development team and I'm super excited. Uh, I'm starting to travel to the shows now. I'm gonna still be based in Orlando, but just so you're all aware, I will be moving around doing more shows and so you're gonna see more videos like this at the shows with, with specific floor plans, not as detailed and in-depth as at the store, but I still wanna bring you this extra content. I am standing here at the Reno RV show in Nevada and I'm looking at this 15 RDX Aurora and thinking this is a sweet little unit for somebody. I know everybody's always looking for those lighter weight trailers that can, um, you know, easy to tow, but you can sleep quite a few people. This is definitely one of those. So let's check it out. This little Aurora is 19 feet and six inches tip to tip and you are 2,900 pounds dry. Super nice little lightweight travel trailer, no slide out. I love the exterior awning, has an LED light strip that you can change the colors. Right now it's purple, but the kids always love it. Look, there's one that's in red, so you can uh, change that whatever color of the rainbow you prefer. You have an outside speaker. The awning goes out about six feet, and you are gonna have the upgraded 13.5 BTU AC to keep you nice and cool on a hot summer day. You do have stabilizer jacks in the rear. There's two of them that come with it. And and on the back, you are prepped for a backup camera and you're prepped for that Lippert on the gold ladder that I always talk about. So you can purchase that ladder aftermarket for about $250, $300. And uh, you know, it folds up and tucks away nicely instead of this eyesore of a ladder on the back of the travel trailer that you could potentially ding, right? When you're going down the road, if you're backing up in a tight spot. Nice big windows on the back of this one. I do love that. And I will say I like the uh, clean look of the tire here you don't have that plastic bumper here on the aurora and so it just gives it a nice clean look there is a leash link here in case you want to bring your four-legged campers with you and then it does have the wi-fi prep it's ready for you to get internet if you want to set up that rv link you do also have jbl premium sound stepping into the aurora Keep in mind I'm on 0.5 mode so you guys can kind of see uh, the space a little bit better. You're greeted with that rear window and this has a big U dinette here. So fantastic little U dinette. That's gonna have two big windows, okay? And then when I turn around the other way, I've got a mount for a TV right here. And as I said, you have the upgraded 13.5 AC and that's on the ceiling. So instead of a side mounted AC, it is on the roof, which is huge. There's your breaker box there on the right below where the uh, shelf is. And then standing from the back of the trailer looking forward, you do have a RV queen bed that is um, facing east to west, right? Because it's left to right instead of north to south. It's not an island bed. It's not a walk around bed, but it will do the job, right? She is under 20 feet total length and under 3,000 pounds dry, and she can sleep four people. So we really like that. Plenty of counter space for the size of the trailer, and you have the little mini fridge there. And then you've got a microwave up top with a two burner cooktop, by the way little sink there and then a window does open here in the kitchen which is a big deal finally turning around to the bathroom here hi there you've got a decent sized bathroom plastic foot flush toilet there you don't have a sink in here actually so you gotta come on in here there's your shower and and the vent fan is open right now Nice big shower. I do like that shower pan. It's got plenty of room. But yes, to wash your hands afterwards, you would have to come back out here and use the sink that is out in the hall. Now they're trying to utilize every inch of space in this little baby. So you got to keep in mind and not everything will be perfect. But if you find you like 80%, 75% of what is on a trailer, you have found the one folks. Let me tell you, it is hard to find, uh, you know, 100% of what you like. There's always something that you got to give up. But here's that bed in the corner. You do have a wall here, a half wall here, so you do kind of have to jump in and roll over. But again, for the size and the weight, you've got some storage right here. I know you also have storage underneath the bed. Let's see if I get with one hand. That is not accessible from the inside of the trailer, only from the outside. So let's head on back outside before I stop this video so you can see it. 
So there is your massive pass-through storage. It actually doesn't have an access panel on the other side, but plenty of space and storage. Also, you can see the plywood construction up here on the bed. There are plywood floors on the Aurora. That is a huge deal for Aurora. There's no particle board in your floor, so you won't get soft spots. I do also want to point out while we are looking at this trailer, this is going to be one of the only mini trailers that's going to have a black flush on board already. So you have a um, black flush feature. Let's go around the back and I'll show you. Black tank flush. That's the word I was missing. I'm sorry. It's a little early, guys. The time change threw me off. Black tank flush here on the back. So you plug your hose in, you clean out your black tank sensors before you head on off for your next adventure. And yeah, that is the Aurora here. This has been the 15 RDX Aurora. Again, amazing features. You've got a black tank flush on board. You are less than 20, uh, 20 feet tip to tip. You've got plywood floors. You do have a nice big awning and a speaker outside you can hang out and you can sleep four people and she's under 3,000 pounds dry. Until next time, happy camping.